that there, there's a need for regional adaptation in processes because a climate impact doesn't only happen on a national scale. Uh, environmental resources are, do not stop at national borders. <clears throat> Ecosystem services generally have to be managed and dealt with regionally. Uh, the current system that we have, a global climate sort of architecture and a government system that we have, uh, has a prior focus on national adaptation and translates that into national funding. We are at risk of decisions made in one country on managing environmental resources affecting a neighboring, a neighboring country. Uh, regional adaptation doesn't actually mean <clears throat> that regional funding would still be sectioned and portioned down to a regional level. Regional adaptation means creating supportive mechanisms that would enable neighbors, particularly neighboring countries, dealing with very specific issues, be it environmental resources, managing aquifers, for example, river basins, population movement, etc., etc., to deal with that and set up an enabling mechanism that would foster collaboration. The idea here is not just to manage ecosystem services uh, physically, but to enable, enable countries that are more or less in the same boat, they would sink or swim if they collaborate. Um, it, where it comes to uh, regions where you have possibility or where you have an element of fragility, for example, state fragility or state failure, that could become a convoy to either averting uh, conflict between these states uh, and or fostering uh, conflict resolution, peace building, collaboration, etc., etc. It, 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 it's a means to other ends in one sense, but it also it's the only answer when you're dealing with ecosystem services and environmental resources that do not stop at national level. 